A linear array transducer with a venous exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided insertion of an internal jugular catheter via a longitudinal approach. The patient is in a supine position with the head slightly turned toward the contralateral side. The operator is positioned at the head of the bed. The transducer is placed transversely just below the apex of the sternocleidomastoid muscle triangle with the orientation marker directed to the patient's left at a 9 o'clock position. The most superficial structure identified in the ultrasound image is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Deeper to this, the internal jugular vein will appear as a dark, anechoic elliptical shape and compressible with transducer pressure. The artery will be circular and pulsatile. The thyroid gland lies medial to these structures and has a light gray echo signature. To obtain a long axis view of the vessel, center the jugular vein in the image and turn the transducer 90 degrees so the orientation marker is directed toward the patient's head. In the ultrasound image, the internal jugular vein will appear superficial to the carotid artery. The needle is inserted in the skin just proximal to the transducer. The needle is slowly advanced to lie in plane to the transducer beam and is seen as a bright, hyperechoic linear structure. The needle is slowly advanced under direct ultrasound visualization until the tip is seen to indent and then puncture the internal jugular vein. The needle should be advanced until the needle tip lies in the mid portion of the jugular vein.